Which is more important for Darwin's natural selection? Is it competition or is it cooperation? The answer is yes. Trace here for D News, everybody. Thanks for watching. The theory of evolution is the crux of modern biology. We look at old stuff and we're like, okay, eventually this became new stuff, right? I mean, Obviously, I'm oversimplifying, but how that old stuff got to be new stuff is still a bit fuzzy. When I say natural selection, you probably picture a species fighting it out to win the day. But is that real? If there's not competition to win at evolution, will evolution still happen? Darwin explained that evolution happens slowly, with random mutation helping a creature adapt to their environment. Layered over this is the opportunity for natural selection, which means those creatures who are able to adapt will do so, and they will win out over those who are not able. But while we think of natural selection as a battle, it might not be. A paper published in PLOS 1 used computer models to mimic evolution without competition and found that evolution is inevitable. The ability for an organism to evolve in the future is called evolvability, and something with high evolvability has the potential to evolve a lot. Even when their computerized organisms didn't have to compete for resources, they still evolved and they still specialized, something scientists call forming niches. When this happened, there was an explosion inside of that new specialization or niche, and that was full of new evolvability. Think of the very first bird. The first time something evolved with wings, it had a new niche. There were no other birds to compete with, so it wasn't that they had to outdo other birds, but instead just not suck at being a bird. Then they could evolve into millions of different types of birds. In essence, it changes how we view natural selection. It's not us fighting it out for better placement on an evolutionary ladder. Organisms can also work together and then go up the ladder in cooperation. We will all evolve niches, with every niche boosting our evolvability for the future. What about sharks, sea turtles, crocodiles, species that haven't changed in millions of years? Why haven't they evolved? you might ask. What is their evolvability, you might say? If it's inevitable, wouldn't it stand to reason that those species would eventually change into something else? Well, no. Evolution doesn't really work that way. It, it doesn't mean that everything in nature is working up to being a bipedal, bougelet swirling aristocratic genius. Crocodiles are still evolving, as are sharks. There are many different niches in the shark community that are being exploited by many different breeds of shark all with their own evolvability to expand into new niches and specialize further as the ocean warms, for example. There will be new sharks that will evolve to specialize in that niche. I, I like to think of rhinos and the birds that pick the parasites off their back, or fish that have the same thing with sharks. Cooperative evolution is all around us, but what do you think of this study? Does it make sense that we can evolve together as a species or as many species working together? Tell us about it on Facebook or on Twitter at DNews or even right here in the comments. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. I'm Trace. Catch you next time.